hi guys welcome to cognitive hub talent tutorials in this video i am going to explain about how to use multi threading in talent studio and normally what we have is suppose if you have a multiple sub jobs in your particular job then what it will do is it will run synchronously that means first of all it will execute the one sub job and then it will execute the next sub job and then it will execute the rest of the sub jobs that are remaining in this particular job but what if if you want to execute all the sub jobs simultaneously that means if you want to run every sub job parallelly then we have to use the multi threading concept in talent studio we have a lot of options to enable the to enable the parallelization in talent studio so in this video i am going to explain about a first few like uh, in this video i am going to explain about first method of uh, using a like enabling a multi threading in talent studio now without uh, wasting any time let's dive into the topic here what i am doing is i am going to create a new job here so i am naming it as uh, enabling multi threading just for my convenience i am naming it as enabling multi threading and i am leaving the purpose and description as empty and i am clicking finish here now the job is open in my designer panel now what i am doing is first of all i am creating a two sub jobs here now what i am creating is i am creating a t row generator that means it randomly the main uh, specific uh, functionality of this of this uh, t row generator is nothing but uh, it will generate a random rows from uh, from the talent studio like uh, i will just illustrate you because uh, we have a default uh, default uh, functions in talent studio to generate a random uh, state uh, random street names as well as random city names like that i am going to illustrate you now i am also printing t log row as well similar i am first of all i want to configure this thing so the if, if you double click this uh, t rog t row generator then you are having some something like this it will open a t row generator editor and we have to generate some schema here first of all what i am doing is i am clicking the plus button below the schema here so it is generated a new column here i am naming it as us street and it is a string and here the for function what i am doing is i am selecting the talent string dot sorry it is not a talent string see i am generating a talent data generator dot get uh, us state sorry us street i want so i am getting uh, get us street and what i am doing is i am also enabling a get us state i am also retrieving the us state also so i am clicking on talent data generator dot get us state now what it will do is it will generate a random val random values for every rows here for the number of rows i am entering 1000 rows sorry 10000 rows i am entering here so i am clicking okay once it is done now we need to configure we need to connect both these components i am connecting using a log uh, t log row sorry i am connecting using a main connector here and i am changing the mode to table similarly just like this i want to create a another component here t row generator and it is a next t generator as well as i am going to create a t log row one more t log row component here and i want to make i want to print only you uh, state id as well as city here us city and here i am selecting the function as i get us city and i am naming it as under column as uh, us state id and i am selecting the name as tag dot uh, get us state id i am saving it here also the number of uh, rows are 10000 i am clicking okay why i am selecting the 10000 number of rows means uh, then only you are able to observe the changes that are happening in talent studio see now you are able to see the two jobs here two sub jobs here i am not connecting with any triggers and all just i am leaving it as as it is now what i am doing is i am running it observe the changes like how like uh, when they are go when they are executing see if you observe the changes here once it is get, once it gets run 
the first job will first executed the first sub job will get executed and then only next sub job will get executed uh, uh, if you don't have a clear idea then again uh, you can run it and observe that first only first job will get executed first and then next sub job but i don't want such type of uh, execution i want i want to execute both the sub jobs at a time now for that what i want to do is what i am going to do is i am going to the job here under the job tab we have a extra tab here i am going to extra tab and what i am doing is i am clicking the multi thread execution here i am enabling this multi thread execution once i am done i am saving it and I again i am going to run tab here i am clearing and clicking on run button if you observe that both the jobs will start at a time see in this example you are not getting uh, like uh, you are not able to see clearly but if you are taking if you are doing on multiple execution like uh, if you are doing multiple uh, like using processing elements like a uh, lot of mul transformations in this particular sub job then you are able to observe what the changes that both are both uh, jobs sub jobs as have started execu execution simultaneously so that is the like uh, that is the main advantage of enabling a multi threaded execution under the uh, in this job this is one method of uh, enabling a multi threading in in talent studio and we have uh, another option also suppose if you want to enable multi threading we have a new component in talent studio one is t using t parallelize we have a t parallelize component in talent studio here uh, in talent studio talent free open source software t parallelize component is not exist if you want to parallelize like uh, if you want to do parallel uh, like multi threading parallelization using a par component then you we have a component named as the t parallelize component suppose if you are using any talent uh, licensed version or any talent tri trial version then you can enter this uh, t parallelize uh, component here which will we, where you are getting a two uh, two car triggers here one is for parallelize and one is for synchronize suppose uh, you, if you want to execute if you have three sub jobs and if you want to execute the first two sub jobs parallelly and once the completion of the first two sub jobs only you want to execute the third sub job then you can connect the first two sub jobs using a parallelize trigger and you can connect the third sub job using a synchronized trigger from this three parallel component that is the main advantage of using a three parallel com component other than that you can also enable the multi threading option from uh, job itself so these are the two ways of for doing parallelization in talent studio we have other methods also that thing i am going to illustrate in a couple in the next videos that's all for this video guys thank you for watching